everyone, thanks so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Justin Latham, and today I'll be breaking down the guitar solo from my song, Grow Your Own. And uh, if you dig this tune in the description, you can uh, catch a link uh, where you're able to purchase the song off my Bandcamp page. So before we get into the lesson, let's have a listen to the solo from Grow Your Own. So the solo is actually based off of a little vocal melody that, uh, that I wrote for, for this song. And uh, it's based on a, on a D7 chord, the melody that, uh, that it's based on. So what I did then was, was took that melody and uh, kind of used it over the D7 chord. Um, as a vocal melody, and then when I get to the guitar solo, uh, I take the same the same kind of pattern, the same rhythm, but we're changing some of the notes around because we're going to a, a G7 chord. Right. So the beginning of the solo, we're going to do a little bit. Of, we keep it kind of loose. It's kind of kind of there's lots of scratching going on, and some bends. So we're just having some fun. So we start with two scratches, and then we start with our first finger on the sixth fret of the B string and we're going to hammer on to the eighth fret of the B string. So the first part and then we're going to land on the seventh fret of the G string with our middle finger. So put those together. All right next we're going down the third fret of the G string with our first finger and we're going to hammer on to four with our middle finger put it together. Then we play the open G, right? And now comes a fun little bend. So third finger on the fifth fret of the B string, and we're going to bend that E note up, up to an F. Right? And it doesn't matter, you don't have to be exact. It's kind of different feel every time and it's fun just to bend around sometimes right and then we're going to go back and land on this d note which is the first finger on the third fret of the b string so put that whole pattern together and repeat but we're going to change the ending And so that section is all over the G7 chord. So then the rhythm guitar switches back to a D7. So we're gonna, now, now the guitar is doing what the vocal melody was doing throughout the song. So we're starting in the same spot where we just slid up to the six on the B string. But now we're hammering from six to seven, right? So, and then same first finger on the seventh fret of the G string. And now we're hammering first finger on the fourth fret of the G string up to five. Right. And then down to the first finger on the second fret of the G string, which is our A note. And now that bend again, the same bend. So that's the beginning of the second part. So it goes through that once. And then we get that far again, and now we're doing this fun little part. So we have the middle finger and the ring finger, both on 10 of the B string and the E string, respectively. And right, so we're going to play the B string and then the E string. 
And then we take our first finger, we're going nine and 10 now. And then first finger on eight. And then back to first finger. And it can bend that six a little bit. So it repeats um, that whole sequence again. So everything we did over the G. And then D, seven. So we repeat that whole thing again. And then we get to the next part, which is, uh, which is over the chorus chords. All right, so we're going to A7, G7, F. E7, and then A7. So over that part, we're starting with this uh, first finger barred on the second fret of the G string and the B string, which is we find in our in an A chord. So we kind of loose pick it, and then we play the middle finger on four of the G string, and our first finger on three of the B string. So we're going. And then we slide that up, that shape. And now I'm switching fingers because we're gonna add the first finger on the high, high E string playing that G note. So. And it's really kind of loose, right? There's no exact picking, kind of just kind of letting the right hand uh, get picky and having some fun. Next, we're over the G7 chord. So we're after this part, we're taking our middle finger on the G string and our third finger on the E string, and they're both sliding up to seven. And I'm kind of muting the B string in between with my, with my middle finger, right? So, because I'm playing all three strings, but the middle one is gonna be dead. Sliding down, so from seven, six, five, and now we make this shape. First finger barred on three and three of the E and the B. Middle finger on the four of the G, which gives us a, a nice little G triad. And then we add this kind of bend and put some stank on it, on that, on that bend. We're bending up the, uh, the F note, which is third finger on the sixth fret of the B string, bending it like a, like a kind of a dirty bend, and then landing on that high G on the E, right? So. And then next we're gonna take that same pattern we just did over the G7, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it down starting on the fifth fret because now we're over the, over the F chord, right? So we get um, out of the G. Then we get coming so kind of the same thing but now we're down a step we're down two frets lower starting on five and we're, not, we're gonna leave out the uh, the bend this time so we're just hanging on that shape and then we get to the end of the solo which falls over the E7 and then an A7, and uh, for some reason, this this part kind of reminds me of uh, Footloose. I don't know. So we're taking our middle finger on the fourth fret of the B string, and we're going to slide up quick to five, and then play the open E right after. And then we slide a third time without playing the open string, and now we're going to throw our third finger on five as well, and we're gonna hit both of those strong and then slide down out of it. All right, so the ending. Just like that. So there it is, this solo from my song, Grow Your Own. And uh, I really like kind of uh, the way it fits in with the song and the whole theme about uh, growing your own cannabis. And you know, when, when you grow your own, it's not always perfect. Sometimes, you know, there's hiccups along the way. There's little flaws, but that's life. And uh, so there's lots of scratching, lots of bending, some muted notes, some dead notes, 
uh, some sliding, just a lot of a lot of character, and uh, you know it's different every time you play it. So I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the lesson, and until until we meet again, take care. Thanks.